hello everyone i hope you are learning well in this video we are going to solve this integral this is a double integral as we can see there are two integrations that we have to perform on this integrand okay uh, the term that we are integrating is called as integrand and it is uh, integrated over x and y variable let's start the solution first of all we have to decide the order of integration order of integration means whether the function has to be integrated with respect to y first or with respect to x first this thing needs to be determined first and after that we can proceed with the solution and one of the way to determine the order of integration is to look at the limits that we are given with here we can see the first limit and we can also see here that it is expressed in terms of x variable so we have two variables here one is x and the other is y if the limit is in x variable then the integration would be done with respect to y first okay and if the limit would have been in y variable for example if it if the integral for example looked like looked like that all right if the limits uh, were in y variable then the integration uh, should be done with respect to x first okay and then y so the order of integration could be determined based upon which variable occurs in the limits as you can see here x is the variable that occurred in the limit so the integration the first integration would be done with respect to y and after that with respect to x all right so the order of integration is will first integrate with respect to y and after that we'll uh, integrate it with respect to x okay i hope that thing is clear to you people you have to determine the order of integration when the integral has variable limits okay in case of variable limits you need to determine the order of integration otherwise if all of the limits are constant okay then the order of integration doesn't matter you can integrate with respect to any variable that you want to okay but in case of variable limits you have to determine the order of integration depend depending upon which variable occurs in limit okay for example if you are given with this integral in that case the order doesn't matter you can do its integration both ways and you will get the same answer okay but if variable limits occurs then you have to determine the order of integration based upon which variable occurs in limit all right let us proceed with this now since we have to integrate with respect to y first then y will be taken as variable in this in in this function okay now here we have a exponential function now let's have a look on the general rule for the integration of exponential functions i have already uploaded a video where i have explained the general rule that is not familiar to many of the students so i recommend you people to watch that video i'll link that video in comment section i'll pin the com that comment so it's up to you if you want to but i'll explain it here too um in general for example let's say we have that exponential function and it has some power variable power x let's say it is integrated over y variable this is all general thing just to make you people understand so let's say we have e to the power x okay and we want to integrate it now don't be confused i'll make you people understand that rule give it a time okay let's say we wish to integrate e to the power x okay with respect to y variable then its integration would be equals to e to the power x the similar exponential function will appear here if and only if the derivative of its power comes with it okay you can we can see here i have wrote 
डी एक्स बाई डी वाई विच मीन्स डेरीवेटिव ऑफ इट्स पावर पावर इज एक्स डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई बिकॉज इंटीग्रेशन इज बींग डन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई इज हैज़ बी इज अपियरिंग अलोंग साइड ई टू द पावर एक्स ओके वेन दैट कंडीशन इज सेटिसफाइड देन दिस होल थिंग कुड बी रिटर्न एज दिस इट्स इंटीग्रेशन वुड बी इक्वल्स टू ई टू द पावर एक्स इफ एंड ओनली इफ द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ इट्स पावर कम्स अलोंग विद इट इन साइड द इंटैग्रेंट ऑल राइट ओनली इन दैट केस इट्स इंटीग्रेशन वुड बी इक्वल्स टू एक्स नाउ लेट एस सी वट्स हैपनिंग हीयर वी हैव ई टू द पावर वाई वी हैव हीयर ई टू द पावर वाई बाई एक्स डी वाई ओके हेयर वाई इज द वेरिएबल नाव वी हैव ई टू द पावर वाई बाई एक्स द सेम थिंग now we have to create that one thing which means derivative of its power should be uh, here so that it, its integration could be written as like that okay we have to uh, make adjust or do something to have its powers derivative right there so that this thing could be equals to this this is the rule this is the general rule basically now let's see what the derivative of its power equals so we have this power y over x okay and let us derive it with this derivative it, it with respect to y because integration is with respect to y so 1 over x will be taken as constant because it is double integration and x will be taken as constant and integration will occur on y oh sorry and derivative will occur with respect to y dy by dy is equals to 1 so we are left with 1 over x so derivative of its power is 1 over x there should be 1 over x along um alongside e to the power y x so that we can write it like that we can do it because it is double integration and what we'll do is to multiply x here okay and divide x here inside the y integral we can do it because it's being done inside the integral okay we have successfully created derivative of exponential's power okay we have uh, this function and its power is y over x its derivative is 1 over x we have created it um we have successfully formed this form so we can write this thing equals to e to the power y over x you will see you can do it yourself on many examples as possible that this rule always satisfies you can only write the integration of a exponential function equal to that exponential function if and only if the derivative of its power comes along with it okay being multiplied with the exponential function inside the integrand otherwise you cannot write it equal to any of the thing okay so this condition is to be satisfied otherwise you have to use other methods to solve that integration only this part was the tricky part otherwise rest of the integral is very easy so let us put these limits of integration into this expression upper limit which is x square we'll put x square in place of y because integration was done with respect to y okay don't confuse as to put <laughs> x is equals to x square here okay you have to put y equals x square here minus y equals 0 here okay upper limit minus low limit low limit as the general rule is so x square divided by x minus e to the power 0 dx divided by x which vanishes at the end so when x cancels out and we are left with e to the power x minus e to the power 0 e to the power 0 is equals to 1 okay let us multiply x with this expression and we'll get 0 to 
x e to the power x minus x dx now let us separate the integration with both of these expressions because integral needs to be dx minus x dx here we have this now we are left with this we have to integrate it further with respect to x and this integration is simple we know that the integration of x is simply x square by 2 okay we have to apply the integration uh, integration by part rule here on this integrand because we have two functions here x and e to the power x they are two functions and integration by parts is the way to integrate it so i am taking x as the first variable as the first function and e to the power x as the second function because taking x as the first function reduces the integral and makes it easy to be solved so here the rule is in if you don't know the integration by parts rule so if we have first function and this is the second function so first function as it is you write it as it is dot integration of second function minus one main integration that will be done at the last of this function that will obtain that will obtain after something <laughs> being done on it so uh, what this function is this function is derivative of first term dot integration of again second term okay we'll do this first and the answer that we'll get will be integrated again okay and it will be subtracted from this thing so that is the rule let us put the values here the first function is x first term is x dot integration of second term second term is e to the power x dx okay minus main integration back is starts d by dx first function which is x dot integration of second function which is this this whole term integrated okay and um closing the brackets and we'll write it like that the limits of integration 0 to 1 on the whole thing that we will obtain at the end minus integration of x is x square by 2 limits of integration 0 to 1 now let us solve everything here x comes as it is dot integration of e to the power x dx um, this integration is equals to e to the power x you can verify it using the rule that i have mentioned before that the derivative of power with respect to x is 1 okay derivative of power power is x now so derivative of x with respect to this thing is 1 you can see here x is the power and 1 is everywhere so you can simply write it as like that minus dx by dx this is again 1 and integration this integration is again e to the power x so this is something that you are left with and we'll take 1 over 2 as common and we have x square inside putting the limits 1 square minus 0 square putting the value of x equals 1 as upper limit x equals 0 as the lower limit now again we have this integration e to the power on e to the power x which is again e to the power x okay for the similar reasons as mentioned before and 1 minus 0 is 1 so now let us put these limits on this function separately okay minus 1 over 2 it makes the things easy so upper limit in place of x you will put 1 minus lower limit in place of x you will put 0 here x is 0 e to the power 0 minus we have this term 
e to the power 1 which is upper limit minus e to the power 0 which is lower limit minus 1 over 2 here 1 multiplies with e to the power 1 1 doesn't need to be mentioned everywhere so it's simply e minus 0 multiplies with e to the power 0 and makes it 0 again e to the power 1 is e simply e to the power 0 is 1 Here because 0 is being multiplied with e to the power 0 that is why this whole quantity becomes 0. We have e okay. This minus multiplies with the quantities inside. It's positive e it will become negative e. It's negative it will become positive because negative is being multiplied inside and minus 1 by 2. e minus e is 0 cancels out 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. If you solve it using LCM so this is the answer that you will get for the integration okay sometimes uh, this limit on X changes such that for example it becomes 0 to 2 0 to x square okay e to the power y by x dy dx or maybe something like that okay everything every step remains the same just at the end you have to um, put for example 2 in place of 1 that is the only change that comes here here for example okay you will put 2 instead of 1 and you are good to go you become 4 here and become two here because one of uh, my subscriber com commented about it so the question slightly changes due to the change in limit or integrant but the method remains the same you have to follow the method and it will give you the right answer okay so Two e square minus e square will be equals to e square, and one minus two will be equals to minus one. So that person in comment section, maybe his name is Hello India or something like that. In previous video, when I uploaded the same question, but the language of instruction was Urdu, um, he commented that his answer was e square minus one, and this answer comes when the limit of integration on x is 2 okay the one that i solved here has 1 as the limit of integration upper limit of integration for x so if the limit of integration changes then automatically the answer also changes so it depends upon uh, your question that which limit of integration was given the method remains the same just notice the limit of integration and solve accordingly i hope you all people understood <laughs> this question and if you have any question you can comment simply i respond to you people as soon as possible if you have any request if you want uh, to give me some paid projects then you can contact me also i do things free of cost as well as um, paid services so yeah goodbye